How's it going YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to use a master detail page. Now what this is, is it's a little slide out menu from the side usually on Xamarin. Now this is not native on iOS but whenever we program this cross-platform it actually uh, will compile it to work with iOS. So it's pretty convenient whenever you're trying to make a cross-platform app and uh, you have to consider the iOS frameworks. So now let's not waste any time let's get right into it let's go ahead and create a new page now we're going to be creating two new pages let's call the first one master detail example and let's create another page and let's call it master detail main page now we will not really have to use the uh, CS but we might as well do what we did last time and we have to change the content page to a master detail page there we go and uh, that's just saying that that because we haven't changed the XAML yet now inside the uh, example, we were going to have to change content page to the master detail page. And change the bottom one. And take out the label. Also give this a title. master detail page example we might as well go into our main page and also add this to our list so comma new list view item or template name will just be master detail example no need to be complicated description simple master detail page example and the order number will be six go down to case and make a new case for case six then we're going to await the navigation dot push async and new master detail page example and don't forget the break or else it will give you an error alright that, that will uh, resolve later whenever we start adding the XAML so inside of here we're going to have to create a master detail page dot master and a master de detail page dot detail and the master is what is going to be inside the pullout menu and inside the detail is going to be our main page so let's just create our layout right now we have a master and a detail now we'll just we'll go ahead and just work with the master for now we're going to create a contents page and we're just going to give it the title of menu and then we're just going to create a stack layout for uh, our different content inside of here and we're going to make the orientation vertical So go ahead and uh, create a, uh, a label and you can just set the text as this is the slide out menu and go ahead and create a couple buttons button text um, let's call this we'll just say one two and three So 
so too. Those quotation marks are really uh, getting on my nerves. And there we go, it resolved itself. All right. So this is going to be in our slide out menu. And it's pretty much all we have to do for that. And then inside of our detail page, uh, we're going to have to make a local XMLNS uh, variable. So how we do that is we go up here in the top and XMLNS local. So we're creating our own variable name. And uh, it's pretty weird, but it's CLR namespace and then your app name. So this is called YouTube app. Uh, usually has the project name up here, over here. And then we're going to do a semicolon and assembly equals YouTube app or your app name. So that should be fine. As long as it's spelled right, looks like it. And then we're going to use that variable local. And this is where we're setting the main page. So we called it master detail main page. So this this is how we uh, set up the layout so far. Now all these errors should resolve whenever we actually save this. There we go. And just so we know that we are on our main page, we're just going to go into this and take out the binding text and just put in this is the main detail page. There we go. So go ahead and run this. There we go, it showed up. A uh, problem I had whenever I was uh, messing around with the test app before I make these videos is it actually would not show up and I actually had to uh, go into the emulator and just delete the app and then it would reinstall it and it was fine. So if that's a problem for you, just try that. So main detail page and then you s pull out and you got one, two, and three and here's our label. So. That worked out really well, actually. And in the next video, I will show you how to actually use these buttons and change the view on the master detail page. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.